Hello everyone, it's time for a new vlog. It's Tuesday, which means it's day two of the reading rush, and it's time to start another vlog. I haven't done that much reading today, but again, I kind of wanted to just tell you what my plans are for today and everything. Like I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, I am 66% through good enough to eat in case you didn't see that vlog i'm gonna link it down below and pop it up on the screen but long story short it's a female female paranormal romance and both of the main characters are supernatural beings and they don't know about each other being those beings of course <laughs> and yeah so i'm 66 percent through the audiobook of that i'm enjoying it i'm not fully loving it but it's a pretty good time so i'm gonna finish that very soon and then i ran into a book that i will absolutely be reading and that is the my god the title is really long and now it, this book by tessa dare it's a novella and it's basically like the plot is that the main character got herself into like some scandals or just into some kind of trouble and they her family kind of set a rule for her that she can only get married once all her three sisters get married and she runs into this guy who is super like seductive and she just really likes him and um you know he makes her want to do things that she should not be doing <laughs> and it is perfect because it works for the challenge of a book with a title that starts with the it's also pink which is the color of my birthstone and it's um, a genre that I want to read more of, which is historical romance. So yesterday I actually mentioned another Tessa Dare book, which I will definitely be reading. Maybe not today, but definitely soon because I got really excited for it. <laughs> not only does it fulfill three challenges, it's also only like 130 pages. So I was just like, I can knock off so many challenges in like on the second day so easily and quickly and you know i'm just i'm really happy because i would like to do all the challenges as soon as i can so that i can kind of focus on books that i'm most in the mood for and yeah so i'm super excited about that and i'm just like tessa dare is an author that i love so much but i haven't read one of her books in months and i'm just like what am i doing like i love her books they make me so happy and they're just so fun and filled with joy and really funny a lot of the time and so you need to check out this editor if you haven't yet and yeah so I have some things that I need to do today but not as much as yesterday so yeah I'm really excited question of the day what is your favorite genre and do you actually have one <laughs> if I had to choose like a favorite genre I don't think I could at this point like it used to be fantasy romance and I still think like I would choose that if I really had to and that is the genre that I write the most but I love like contemporary adult romance so much and I love historical romance so much and I love everything <laughs> okay not everything but just the genres that I love I can't choose between I have them. been chilling <laughs> and reading and I am about 14% of the way through the Scandalous Dissolute No Good Mr. Right by Tessa Dare. That title is a freaking mouthful. And <laughs> so I'm not far, but I did already have some thoughts to share with you. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. But I just, there's one thing that happens at the beginning of the book that is, that made me feel a little bit conflicted. I don't know how much I want to say about it. Because, like, I feel like in the novellas, everything feels like a spoiler. It feels like the kind of alpha male bullshit where, you know, the guy's like, I know best. And the reason why is not a bad thing. But I still, at first, before knowing that, I was just like, um, this is not looking so great. <laughs> so, yeah. But, I mean... I think it was like it was okay but I just it wasn't you know the best most ideal thing ever but other than that like I just love Tessa Dare so much like her characters and like the dynamic between the two main characters the couple and their chemistry like is amazing and her books are just so funny sometimes but Tessa Dare's books are all just hilarious and they just feel so good and so fun and 
I think I'm just going to read it, the whole thing, in one sitting without even freaking thinking about it because it's just so much fun. And her heroines are also almost always just really independent and kind of sassy and amazing. And yes, I'm already vibing really a lot <laughs> with the two main characters and I'm rooting for them and I'm literally on the page like 20 which is out of like I think 120. I might go make myself an iced drink and go read the book. It's time for an update. I'm sorry about the slightly weird lighting but since I wanted to do a bit of a longer update I wanted to sit here. I finished reading the scandalous dissolute no good <laughs> Mr. Right by Tissa Dare, and it was a really fun time. I gave it 4.5 stars. It There were a few things that I didn't love, but I loved the couple so much. The pacing was a little bit weird because it kind of took place over a few years, and there was never a point where they would not see each other for a long time since it's a novella, so there wasn't time for that, but I felt like Sometimes I was just like, this is a little bit too much, maybe. <laughs> but overall, it was super fun. Tessa Dare's books are just always so funny and enjoyable for me, and I'm so happy that I read this. And that means I have done the challenge of a book that has a title that starts with the, then the book that has a cover of The Color of My Birthstone, and a book that has a genre that I want to read more of. <laughs> so I'm really happy and I really enjoyed it and I just I really need to read more Tessa Dare and oh my gosh this lighting is crazy so yeah if you like historical romance and if you just want something super light and fun a little cheesy and just a really fun time definitely check out Tessa Dare and yes so I actually I just ate dinner and I think I'm gonna watch some booktube videos then I'm gonna go finish reading good enough to eat and yes so it is time for an update it is almost midnight and I finished reading good enough to eat and I gave it 3.5 stars I am kind of conflicted about the rating <laughs> but it feels like the right rating like none other feels right so yeah I enjoyed it. I feel like I've already mostly said everything. I liked the couple. I didn't like fully feel their chemistry and like it didn't make me feel super intense emotions but at the same time like I was rooting for them and I it didn't feel like super dull like sometimes in romance when you're just like I don't know why these people are together like in this case it made sense for them to be together and it was just super chill and kind of laid back and just really easy to read so it's a really good 3.5 star and like I said the concept is super unique and at the end like in there's kind of like an epilogue and I kind of didn't get like there was just something super random happening that I just didn't really get the point of yeah so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here uh, I will probably read before going to sleep, but I also want to watch some booktube, and technically it will be after midnight, so I'm just going to talk about all of that tomorrow, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, because tomorrow another vlog is coming, and yeah, I hope you're having a great day, and I'm going to see you tomorrow with another video. Bye!